Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Trey, and I want to talk about movies in the United States, um, and how I personally feel like it's time for the studios to release the movies now. Um, the holidays are coming around, I really believe that it's time for us to get some new movies in movie theaters, and the reason why I'm bringing this topic up is because of Demon Slayers, the movie that did well in Japan and in some other countries and stuff like that, it kind of proves that these countries are starting to get away from the American box office. And if these studios don't put out movies and stuff like that and stop trying to put everything behind a personal streaming service, you know, people are just going to get tired and stuff like that. I understand they're trying to get this billion dollar box office or whatever, but truthfully, it's not going to happen. Not in a long time. I'd rather go ahead and release the movie, make the money now. And, you know, you can probably recover some movies from the DVDs or the marketing sales, you know, if it comes with toys or merchandise or whatever. But to keep sitting on it to hopefully... It'll get better in 2021, but think about it. You guys are all pushing movies to 2021, and what if people can't watch all those movies? You know, again, movie theaters aren't cheap to go to at the time, neither. So it's kind of funny to have a thing where all of these movies that were supposed to come out in 2020 are now trying to go to 2021. So what, we're going to have blockbuster movies back to back to back to back to back competing against each other where you'll still lose uh, more money than you would if you release them now. Because I don't think it's that bad at the movie theaters right now. And you might as well go ahead and release the movies. Like, I was waiting for Black Widow and Wonder Woman, you know? Those are the two movies I had waited for for a long time and stuff like that. And to not be able to see them because they don't want to release them on the big screen because they want to try to get a billion dollar box office. I'm sorry, you know, that's not fair for the movie theater workers, the movie theaters themselves, the audience, because you're killing what momentum you could have. I say take what you can get and release the movies and stuff like that because you got Demon Slayers showing you guys how it's done and yet the american movie box office want to come up with lame excuses because they want to try to get this billion dollar thing or they want to try to push this thing out to try to get as much money as they possibly can and it just doesn't work like that you know the time of billion dollar box office movies is probably done for a while you know maybe another five years we'll probably be able to get back to that but for right now you take what you can take and, you know, as long as it makes back the budget, I think it should be fine. I'm not saying that it'll all make back the budget or whatever and stuff like that. But I'm quite sure if you release Black Widow and Wonder Woman right now, I'm quite sure you'll have a large turnout. Because now people will be like, finally, there's a movie. You got movies that are doing drive-ins. You got places renting out the movie theaters and stuff like that. So you can get the people in there. And get some money into it. But to try to wait until 2021 or 2022 or try to put it on a streaming service, who is that helping? You know, you're killing what, you know, excitement people have. Because after a while, when it comes out on streaming service, people are going to be like, oh, okay, cool, that's great. It might do well, it might not. It depends. But why do all that? Because you don't want to do a middleman but then american studios want us to the taxpayers to help them with the movie theater buyout when they have money to help these movie theaters when they have movies to give the movie studios you know the only people that aren't getting it is new york and california but everybody else their movie theaters are open and doing fine you know some of these classic movies that they're releasing in theaters are are making back money why because they release in movies and people like old classic movies like um for instance i went to go see hocus pocus in movie theaters 
you know, who would have thought I would have been able to see Hocus Pocus in the movie theaters? I mean, I've seen the movie so many times, but just the fact to be able to see it on the big screen with the surround sound system and everything in glorious HD is pretty cool, you know? So I just think it's kind of funny that they don't want to show these movies because they're trying to get this billion dollar box office instead of just going ahead, swallow the lost and just release the movies and get what profits you can. Because if they don't, eventually the international box office is going to move on and they have already have. So I'd rather go ahead and release some movies now than to never release them or whatever and stuff like that because they're always worried about the whole um what's that thing um pirating the movie because you know it goes over other countries first before it comes out of america which i never quite understood how that works that's kind of stupid if the world premiere is in new york city or california it should be in the united states the next day or the, the following weekend not oh it premieres over somewhere else first and then the other countries get it. Then the United States get it. That doesn't make any darn sense, to be honest. You should have just released the movie all at once, to be honest, globally. Instead of opening it up for other countries first, then the United States. That's kind of defeats the purpose of making the movie um, in America in the first place. But yeah, um, that was my thought. You know, tell me what you guys think. Um, do you feel like the movie theaters should um, demand the studios to put the movies in there would you be willing to go to the movie theaters to see new movies now um or do you think it'll be better off waiting until 2021 or 2022 to see where everything goes but yeah um that's my video um like subscribe follow comment all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys later peace out